Greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman29. And I came on, check out some stuff on YouTube, watching videos. Lo and behold, Rational Response Squad, I'm subscribed to them, uh, put out a video Theist is a mind disorder. It's excellent because I'll tell you why. Every time. Uh, I want to know what's wrong with me. I'm able to go to the Rational Response Squad and other places and find out all kinds of stuff uh, that's wrong with me because I'm a theist. And I thank, I thank them for their excellent uh, diagnostic of my problem. I do display a few of the symptoms, but however... This is a video about why I don't have a problem living with this disorder. Um, it wasn't science that told me five colors make my eyes blind. It was Taoism. Five sounds make my ears deaf. And if you keep going with that thought, five beliefs make a person an unbeliever. Five hypotheses make a person a skeptic. If I find myself being a fundamentalist Christian, I think about Judaism and become Jewish. If I find myself being too Jewish, I become Islamic and think about Islam. If I become too Islamic, I think about Hinduism and become Hindu. If I become too much like Hindu, I think about Buddhism and become Buddhism. If I think too much about Buddhism, I be Christian again. And this flow helps people uh, to see things outside the box. And uh, these kinds of videos, uh, becoming what you hate, limits the possibilities by just tossing everything about religion out the window. And all that you would end up with are a big pile of Richard Dawkins books. I'm going to come up with a new term here on YouTube. Uh, this isn't out of spite, but just to fire something back that might be interesting to think about. Um, the new term would be evangelical atheism, which is quite interesting if you think about it. Um, I've been on before saying how uh, the same thing, same tactics, same messages being set out um, as religious evangelicals, just in a different format under the label atheism, which is quite interesting. So, I go to a fundamentalist evangelical church. They're going to tell me I'm a sinner and everything that's wrong with me, doom and gloom. I go to atheism. They're going to tell me everything that's wrong with me for just considering uh, religion. However, religion, uh, my definition of it, it's the metaphor. And I, find it, I would find it really interesting if at some point somebody could talk on Joseph Campbell and other anthropologists who have worked in the field and have studied the importance of the metaphor and what it does for culture because these old texts are most beautiful and we can use the literature as roadmaps. And the minute that we start believing that it's absolute truth and not using it as just a guide, it's when we kill it. And many times it's been done that way. So I want to thank uh, the Rational Response Squad um, uh, for pointing out my disorder and hopefully I can um, be able to live with this. Got the shakes. Oh, I, I have my shirt on. Um, I still have. I started out with a lot of nothing. And I still have most of it left. Uh, I want to stay that way. Because a full cup can't be fooled. Filled. Fooled. <laughs> a full cup can't be, can't be filled. So, you have to remain empty 
overturned cups can't be filled and I would encourage people to be like water take different forms as you need to be able to be spilled out and keep thinking outside the box because these kinds of ideas no matter what they are they're limiting the human possibility of discovery so take care youtubers take care of yourself and each other